Like I said, I saw another video this morning. I, my, somehow my thing was on autoplay because I went and found this whole video. And it was, it was another video of this girl with Greg's round remote, a pinch collar, no treats, and a long line. And the comments were disabled. It's, 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 and, you know, so I put the status as if, if you're getting up in the morning, you've got Greg's round remote, a pinch collar, a long line, and no treats. You're, you're not a dog trainer. You are the Gestapo. You are the Gestapo. Uh, you know, who else would you be? If somebody got me up in the morning and strapped all that garbage on me and didn't have any of my favorite yogurt to give me bites of, <laughs> Summer will tell you. Summer tells me if I can just get certain things done, because we you know, got this box of yogurt in there that we, you know, Summer knows I've got to try to save it for the weekend. But she says, if you'll do this, that, and the other, then you can eat one of your yogurts. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> well, now that's how she does it. She says, you could have half. Because I start saying, I'm getting so weak. And she says, you can have half. Yeah, well, no, she lets me. So I, I just keep it up real fast. And then, oh, yeah, then we do another video. And then I, I you know, put on more of my little height reality acting. You know, if I, you know, no matter how, you know, I mean, she's being, if I just pretend like I'm fainting, she doesn't want that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anyway, that's what we, I've got the cutest Barney video. You know, and I want you guys to realize, I mean, as, as much as dogs do behavior modeling, I, I, I don't know what you would expect the outcome of, you know, jerking them to be, what their behavior modeling of that would be. I would expect it would be, you could, I mean, we need to go find some of these, um, you know, pinch collar videos, and I'll show you blow by blow where that thing cannot, they're not able to say to themselves, I can completely see that, because in their mind, it is like, it is like the boxer going at them. They have a tendency to come back at it in a, not friendly way. So anyway, we gotta do the Barney video because I, I can kick my leg and then he kicks his leg. He's watching me that closely and if you said, you know, that's not love, I would say, but isn't uh, imitation the greatest form of flattery? <laughs> Am I wrong? Or whatever they say, like, it, you know, like, you know, if somebody started doing the pager, well, like Ricky and stuff, I mean, I don't, oh my God, he stole my idea hardly. You got the exact opposite. It's the greatest form of flattery. I didn't make that up. I don't know where that came. I don't, I don't know where I know this stuff from. I don't, I don't even know who I am, Stacy. I don't know if I'm a terrible person. I, I don't. Summer tells me I'm not, but I don't know. I mean, maybe I should just act more like other people. I don't know. I don't know. But I, what other people would I act like? That's the problem. The vicious bullies? I mean, I don't know. I just sometimes feel like every day that really the reality is I didn't know anything the day before. You know? I don't know. Because Stacy thought Dave and uh, Chris were bullies, and I said, no, you know, they're not bullies. They're just, I even make enemies out of people that aren't bullies. <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, and then there's that thing on Facebook. They've always, you know, got that. You know, if you've made enemies good, you stood up for something. The only problem with that is your enemies say the same thing. <laughs> so, I don't, you know, I don't know if that just evens out. I don't know. I, I don't know if they... I don't know. I, I, I do think, I mean, just based on what I've seen, well, I would say, you know, and that's what I love about Winter Park and the whole John Michael thing. It is a, a cultivation of kindness in that community. Maybe they might want to use that for their new city slogan. But those, and a lot of them are doctors, I mean, you know, a lot of them are realtors, realtors too. But doctors and lawyers, not that they're all known for kindness, but a lot of them are. There's one guy, Rich Newsom, I gotta show uh, Summer Hammer, and this guy's like straight out of a John Grisham novel. 
the looks, everything, everything about these people. They're the most positive, supportive people I've ever seen in my life. In fact, maybe I need to email Rich Newsom and say, you know, is there such a thing as being too kind to people that they turn on you? Because if there was, he would know about it. Kind of like Ben Nichols knowing about the completely heterosexual men falling madly in love with them. <laughs> if anybody would know about it, it would be him. Because if there is a concept, there must be. And, you know, and I, I shouldn't even ask him because I'm going to tell you how I know there is that concept. And it's that no good deed goes unpunished. I've really always been confused by that saying, but I suppose that's what it's talking about. I never heard that before. I just heard you say it. Did I say it before? I say it all the time. <laughs> say it then. Yeah. Really, because I don't really, com I'm not sure I completely understood what it meant until I, you know, recently, but. I, I think, you know, I don't think that stops people from doing good deeds, nah. though. Well, you say the saying didn't stop me before now. <laughs> I gotta get snacks right on that list. Chip salsa, everything. Becca's coming. Anyway, my absolutely adorable niece, Becca's coming, Stacy. So I gotta run to the store right now, get stacks. I'm uploading those Remy videos where he's going back and forth. Oh. Yeah, that was, we're just now getting to the video where we still had our little mat that we accidentally left outside. <laughs> I, maybe I might try to get another one. I liked that little mat. It was cute. Oh, yeah, I love that one. Well, it was kind of foam, though, and they took one bite out of it, and then we left it outside, and then when we went out there later, it wasn't there. Well, it was there, but it was just many, many pieces this week. All right, listen, if Lori comes while I'm gone, uh, tell her we need to get chunks of sod from somewhere and fill in those holes in the front yard, not with dirt with jigsaw puzzle pieces of sod from somewhere else on this property that we're not going to notice and puzzle piece it don't yeah because oh I caught Quinny in there last night I was getting ready to go in and I was getting the boys in and I heard splashing and I turned around it was Quinny right in that thing right behind me I was like no so I just ran and I ran through the house and ran to the garage door and got her in real quick. And then I was like, oh my God, <laughs> please don't let me forget to tell Lori that. And the sprinklers need no, to be, okay, here, write a note in case I'm, here. sprinklers need to be adjusted too. I don't know how, you know, I understand that people aren't a sprinkler company, but the way they're adjusting these sprinklers is wrong. It's spraying on the sidewalk. It's turning the sidewalk rusty. Write that down. And, you know, just from the hard water and, and turning the driveway rusty. And if Lori's solution is me go get rust remover, my solution is turn the sprinkler. You know, so it doesn't do that anymore. Anyway, you gotta go, yes, bye.